Hey everybody, welcome to Bucketman Scouting. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an all-22 film breakdown on newly acquired wide receiver Josh Reynolds from the Detroit Lions. I don't like this move for two reasons. Actually, a multitude of reasons if you want to be fair with it. The number one reason I don't like this move is because you had other positions of need that you could have went after. Um, again, this organization is so obsessed with receivers, corners, edges, and you would think that if you are putting a lot of resources t towards those certain said positions, you would be able to find good players. And the Broncos, a.k.a. the Walmart Generals, struggle with that. <clears throat> Secondly, you have Josh Reynolds type receivers already on the roster. I'm talking about Tim Patrick, who's a willing blocker, but also a guy that nobody brought up. And I was the only person that broke down the film throughout the year that told you guys about Lil Jordan Humphrey. This guy, Lil Jordan Humphrey, is younger than Josh Reynolds, and he has a lot more upside than Josh Reynolds does, in my personal opinion. The Denver Broncos always do this. When they have up-and-coming young receivers, They, this is just an example. When they have up-and-coming type talent, they always go after these Melvin Gordon type signings. And this is like a Patrick Walsh, John Elway signing to a fucking T. And again, I, I just don't like this move. The only thing that Josh Reynolds has that I do like about him is, he, is he's a willing blocker and he's a very solid blocker. But again, this is where I trump a lot of people because nobody can touch my film breakdowns. This is where I'm actually logical and I understand the team building process. You have up and coming young talent that are just like Josh Reynolds. You have up-and-coming young talent that are just like Josh Reynolds. And the Walmart Generals still gave him a two-year, $14 million contract. And I'm also sick of the fucking excuse from these Walmart General fans saying that this is a full-on rebuild. No, it's not. You don't know shit. Stop trying to defend the content creators, and especially this front office. I am so sick of you people that defend this shit Year after year after year, okay? It took you eight years to finally say, well, we need a rebuild. When myself, Bubble Man, and Chop the Liver have been screaming from the rooftops saying that you need to blow this thing up. They did not blow this thing up. They got rid of Jerry Judy and Justin Simmons. That's it. That's it, okay? No talent wants to come here. Nobody wants to come here, okay? The emperor has no clothes now. People understand, and players understand, nobody wants to come to this dog shit organization. It's been dog shit ever since Pat Bowen wasn't able to run the team anymore, okay? And I also don't want to hear from my detractors because, you know, there's going to be that. If you're not, if you don't have detractors, you're not doing anything right. But anyway, my detractors are going to say, well, you chose the game that he dropped the ball a lot. No, this isn't just the only game he's dropped the ball. Okay, stop with the excuse making, you morons. Okay, people come here to be educated, not to listen and read your bullshit. I want to see what Josh Reynolds does when the lights are brightest. I want to see what Josh Reynolds does when... When it's better competition. I don't want to see Josh Reynolds go against the Cardinals that are dog shit. I don't want to see Josh Reynolds go against the Broncos who are dog shit. I don't want to see Josh Reynolds go against the Chicago Bears who are dog shit. I want to see what he does against better teams. So let's finally get into his film breakdown after ad addressing those key points. So... Let's get into this. So you have a three wide receiver set, one tight end. You're going to have a jumbo set. Laporte is going to come in motion right here. It's going to be a halfback toss to the running back here. Josh Reynolds does a very good job with a blind side block slash crack back block on the edge. Joey Bosa here. 
And Josh Reynolds is lined up right there. I really like these jumbo sets. I'm a very big fan of them. And that's what I liked about Sean Payton's offense this year is he utilizes those jumbo sets and pinching the wide receivers close to the line of scrimmage. There we go. Good crack back block by Josh Reynolds. But again, here is a point of contention to the people saying, wow, this is the best move of all time. A plus, A plus, A plus. You have receivers just like this already on your roster. That is my point of contention with this move. If you didn't have a Josh Reynolds on this roster, okay, this would make a lot more sense. But you already have a little Jordan Humphrey, a Tim Patrick, a Brandon Johnson, who are willing blockers. <clears throat> okay, next play. And here at Bucket Man Scouting, we don't cherry pick plays. We show you series after series after series after series, okay? All these other people that try to show you film on the Denver Broncos cherry pick shit. They show you highlight reels and they cherry pick and they don't explain what they're talking about on the fucking film breakdown. And yeah, you could say I'm a tool, I'm cocky. Yeah, you're damn right I'm cocky because I know what I'm fucking talking about, okay? This channel isn't for the weak-minded. This channel is for people that understand the problems that are going on in this organization, understand how bad these players are, but also they want to be educated on the game of football, not this Taylor Swift flag football bullshit, okay? This is an old-school channel. We don't give a fuck about flag football. Oh, man, I'm injured. I, I broke a pinky. We don't give a shit about that here. Say net, Okay. On this play, you have a two wide receiver set, two tight ends, one running back. Again, a very good willing block. And again, this is something that Josh Reynolds does very well is he's a willing blocker. He's going to take on number 31, Taj Gibson Jr. here. Not afraid. Boom. Very good. Physical. Blocked there by Josh Reynolds. Very good play. Yeah, talk your trash. Talk your shit, Josh Reynolds. Talk your shit, baby. You're gonna be you're gonna fit perfect with the Broncos because the Broncos love to talk shit and they can't back it up on the field. You're gonna fit just perfect, buddy. Talk your shit. You're gonna see what this organization's about, Josh Reynolds. You think that uh Leaving the Detroit Lions was uh, a good move. Actually, you know what's so funny, too? If uh, the Lions didn't want to let Josh Reynolds go, why did they let him go? See, again, these good teams, these good run organizations right now in the league, like the Detroit Lions that nobody considered, and I was the only person out there that was screaming from the rooftop saying that this organization is on the up and up because they're doing it right. And I got nothing but say people saying I don't know shit about the game. And they laughed in my face. And look at you now. You guys look like a bunch of dumbasses. Okay, next play here. I don't think he's on. Uh, yeah, that's him right there. Oh, is that Amari St. Brown? Yep. Who's a better receiver than Josh Reynolds? <clears throat> Who's a better receiver? We all know that. I wish we had this offensive line. I wish we had a tight end like Sam Laporta. Okay, next play. Is he on the field here? There he is right there. You're going to have a 1, 2, 3, 4 wide receiver set. 86 comes in motion here. Little trickery pass to Jamison Williams, who's the fastest receiver on the team, and it's a touchdown. I think you're going to see a lot of this type of stuff with uh, Sean Payton. He's going to be using Josh Reynolds in a lot of uh, blocking packages on the offensive side of the ball. I think what you saw with little Jordan Humphrey is exactly what you're going to get with Josh Reynolds. Again, I just... My mind is into player development. And when I talk about a guy like Lil Jordan Humphrey, who 
is younger, up and coming, and has the same ability as Josh Reynolds, my mind immediately goes to why did you bring in Josh Reynolds? You have Cortland Sutton on the roster right now. You have Tim Patrick. Yes, he has an injury history, but you still have Brandon Johnson, Lil Jordan Humphrey, Jalen Virgil. You drafted Marvin Mims last year, and when the Broncos, well, when Sean Payton used him correctly, he looked good and he proved me wrong in certain aspects. So again, you guys need to understand the player development aspect. This, When you bring in a guy like Josh Reynolds on a two-year, $14 million contract, it screams that you want to make that another splash move. And granted, the Broncos haven't been able to make splash moves because of the Russell Wilson debacle contract, the Mike McGlinchey contract, the Ben Powers contract, this, that, and the third. All these dead cap contracts that you've given these players over the years – the Broncos are forced not to make those big splash moves. So Detroit scores. Again, what... Let me ask you guys a question while I skip through this first series offensively for the Niners. What is it that Josh Reynolds does that Lil' Jordan Humphrey can't? Let me ask you that question. What does Josh Reynolds do specifically that Lil' Jordan Humphrey can't do? That's the question I have here because it makes no logical sense from a team-building perspective. What's the Walmart Generals aren't into? All right, next play right here. Again, another jumbo set, top of your screen. One tight end, one running back. Josh Reynolds is right here. Receiver comes in motion. Play action pass. Again, this guy, he has very poor separation ability. Like, he just doesn't have any good separation ability. There he is right there just running the seam route. I, I mean, this guy can't separate to save his life. Again, I want receivers that can separate at the second level. I want receivers that can separate, man. I want a Jamar Chase. I want a Justin Jefferson. And I love how these fucking stupid Bronco content creators are trying to take credit that, oh, we knew Justin. No, you didn't. No, no, no. Time out. No, you didn't. I want a C.D. Lamb who I wanted over Jerry Drops to do to do Judy. I mean, you basically got Jerry Judy 2.0 here in Josh Reynolds. That's just facts. I want an Amari St. Brown. I want a Jamison Williams. Okay? Like, there's D.K. Metcalf. I want those type of receivers. And then Josh Reynolds right here just runs a little seam route, and he, and he just can't separate, man. I just... I don't know. I you you could have got more production from a young up and coming receiver in little Jordan Humphrey, who I'm very high on. Very, very high on. Okay, next play. <clears throat> man, I, I wish we had an offensive line like this, man. It just they have better blocking tight ends. They just, they have better blockers in general. It just, man, it just sucks to see that Detroit. <laughs> it's so funny that Detroit understands it and the Broncos still don't. Okay, spreading out the Niners, you're going to have uh, Josh Reynolds bottom of your screen here. Tight end comes in motion. Okay, he's blocking. Again, what does Josh Reynolds do that Lil Jordan Humphrey can't? In my personal opinion, Josh Reynolds is a guy. He's just a guy. He's just there. Yeah, he makes some good blocks here and there. Okay, granted, I'll give him that. He makes good, solid blocks. But he's doing things that on tape that I've shown that Lil Jordan Humphrey can do. And he's a bigger-bodied receiver. And, in my personal opinion, 
Little Jordan Humphrey has bigger upside if you develop him correctly. Okay, next play, two wide receivers, two tight ends, one running back. Play action pass. Dump pass to David Montgomery. <clears throat> Look at that offensive line, folks. I mean, another thing that I just wanted to make a point of emph emphasis here is the offensive line. Again, I tried telling you folks that this offensive line for the Lions is, my, in my personal opinion, the best in the league. Look at that. Look at all that time, bro. Like, you, you don't get that with the Broncos. You don't get that consistently with the Broncos, a.k.a. the Walmart Generals. All right. Where is Josh Reynolds? Is he in on this play? Okay, there he is. All right, Josh Reynolds is lined up right here. You're going to have a three wide receiver set, one tight end next to Josh Reynolds. That's a dump it off. Free runner. Those are still prevalent in the Walmart Generals, by the way. You still get those free runners. Okay, next play. All right, you're going to have three wide receivers set. Jumbo set at the top of your screen. Two receivers. Uh, Josh Reynolds is right here. One tight end next to Panay Sewell, who I'm a big fan of. Wanted him out of Oregon, but can't have that. We'll run. Again, what does Josh Reynolds do that little Jordan Humphrey and Tim Patrick can't? I understand Tim Patrick is an injury risk, but you still got Brandon Johnson. You still got little Jordan Humphrey. You still got Jalen Virgil. Like, there's still young receivers on the roster that you can give playing time to to develop correctly. But the Broncos aren't into the player development, so... All right, next play, Josh Reynolds is lined up at the bottom of your screen. Receiver comes in motion here. You're going to have a four wide receiver set. Okay, block. Good block. That's a good block. Again, what does he do that little Jordan Humphrey can't? Little Jordan Humphrey can make that block. I've shown time after time, if you go back and watch my film breakdowns throughout the year, that's something that little Jordan Humphrey was doing on a consistent basis. You gave this guy $14 million to do what little Jordan Humphrey can do with the fraction of the price you gave Josh Reynolds. That's the point of contention I'm talking about. You could have allocated that money to a different more important position than fucking receiver. Wash, rinse, repeat. The same fucking shit. I'm not saying Josh Reynolds is a terrible blocker. All I'm saying is that you see on the film what Josh Reynolds is doing. Lil Jordan Humphrey can do. Brandon Johnson can do. Tim Patrick can do even. It just, uh, just really pisses me off that these fucking content creators in this organization still doesn't fucking get it. Okay, so you're going to have two jumbo sets here. 86 comes in motion, tight end. Josh Reynolds is right here. <laughs> he can't separate where shit. And you know what? He gets so fucking blown off here on his route this corner made him his bitch look at this watch this right here oh my god oh my god you just ran right into the goddamn corner his route route running ability is horrendous and, and you know what this isn't cherry picking shit this is this is series after series after series, and I'm trying to tell you folks that Josh Reynolds, yeah, might have a couple impact blocks that little Jordan Humphrey can do, who's younger, who can develop.
But no, you have to go get Josh Reynolds and give him a two-year, $14 million deal because we're the Walmart Generals for your Walmart Generals. Because we are arrogant. We don't listen to the people that actually understand the game of football. We just listen to Denver Sports, 104.3 The Fan. We listen to Locked On Broncos, Mile High Huddle, Pro Football Focus. Because you know what? We're arrogant as fuck. Yet the three people in their, mo in their mother's basement, myself, Bubble Man, and Denver Broncos Mile High View, a.k.a. the Great Chot the Liver, we're going to be sitting here throughout the season saying, we told you so, this, that, and the third, and you guys are just going to slink away or come up with another stupid fucking excuse. The culture's changed. We're in a rebuild. What's next? You going to kill Sean Payton? Or is Sean Payton going to retire before you even kill him? Because we all know George Payton is an empty suit. We all know George Payton... Is just a fucking empty suit. Brittany Bullen, yes man. Alright, next play. So we're going to have a three wide receiver set. Josh Reynolds lined up at the bottom of your screen here. Comes in motion. So it's going to be a run to the right side. He comes in motion in there. Goes for the block. <laughs> remember him, guys? I just want to make this point of a, con a contention. You remember Randy Gregory? Is he stand up or is he lined up as a 5 tech and a 4 3? And does this look like a 3 4 or 4 3 defense? Just I just want to make that point because I remember when Walmart general content creator morons were trying to tell me that Randy Gregory's the shit when I watched him. Even in his days at the University of Nebraska under Bo Pelini. Like, get the fuck out of here. God, you guys. You guys are just suckers. And look at him. He still, he still sucks. Can't set the edge to save his fucking life. There's Randy Gregory for you, folks. There he is. Remember him, guys? Also, that dead cat money, you're still paying him, by the way. God, he fucking sucks. And then there's Josh Reynolds. I don't know what Reynolds was doing there. <clears throat> Wasn't trying to set the edge there. Block on the edge. Okay, here is Josh Reynolds. Top of your screen. Three wide receivers, one tight end. Tight end comes in motion, one running back. Comes in motion here. Missed his block. Again, what does he do that little Jordan Humphrey can't? I just, I don't understand this move. I don't fucking get it. This is your prototypical John Elway and his nephew Patrick Walsh, who's still in the organization. This is their type of fucking move. He missed his block. Here he is. Just watch him. He's right here, folks. Comes in motion. Just whiffs on his block here. Wow. Okay, Josh Reynolds is lined up uh, right here next to Taylor Decker. Left tackle. 87. Laporta comes in motion here. And Touchdown. I really respect the Detroit Lions and how they game plan the first half of this game. The second half, they got the call from the NFL, obviously. But they're a physical football team. Look at that offensive line, folks. I mean, that's a physical offensive line. Josh Reynolds doesn't do anything on this play. Meaningful, anyway. <clears throat> Skipping through the 49ers offensive series now. No. We loved him, Josh Reynolds signing A plus. Pro football focus gave him an A plus. No. Oh, God. It's what our world's come to, unfortunately. Bunch of weak minded idiots. 
All right, next play. Josh Reynolds is lined up at the bottom of your screen here. You're going to have a two wide receiver set, two tight ends, one running back. Does he do anything meaningful on this play, or does he do what Lloyd Jordan Humphrey can do? No, he just... I even remember when Josh Reynolds played for the Rams, and there's a reason why the Rams let him go. Because you could just, you, you, just this organization doesn't get it. They just don't fucking get it. It's just funny that Graham Gil Glasgow is playing better in Detroit than he ever did in Denver. Huh, imagine that. Okay, Josh Reynolds is off on this play. Halfback toss. Oh. Oh, it's a fake! What a stupid play call. God, what a stupid play call. Oh, Josh Reynolds is in on this play. My apologies, he's right here. <laughs> oh, what a stupid fucking play call. God! That is such a stupid play call. You are running the ball so efficiently and you run this stupid shit. There he is right there, Josh Reynolds, folks. I mean, this guy is so fucking slow running his fucking routes. There he is. Look how slow he is. Okay, he is not in on this play. You're having three wide receivers, one tight end, one run, running back. Mari St. Brown. Look how these two are running their routes. Full speed. Uh, he should have... I mean, just look how they begin their routes. It just tells you everything. Look at these two compared to what I just shown Josh Reynolds. Look, they, they go full speed. You also had a guy wide open in the right. God damn it, Goff. You had a guy wide fucking open. This guy who isn't even getting the play in time that Josh Reynolds is runs a way better route. He's fucking wide open. Number 80. Runs a way better route. Oh, there's Gregory. I always got to point him out. Let's see how Gregory did on this play. Hand in the dirt. I tried telling you folks. <laughs> that's, that's Randy Gregory right there. That's Randy Gregory. Okay, next play. Josh Reynolds is lined up bottom of your screen. You got a... Jumbo set right here. We'll see right here. Running back there. There we go. Good route by number 14. That's a very good route. Watch how he stops and breaks towards the football. God, man. I love watching number 14 play. Players like this. Look at that route. Josh Reynolds doing a little corner route there. I mean, look at the difference between Josh Reynolds and uh, Mar St. Brown on this play. Look at, look who's more. Look at the speed between those two guys. Watch, boom! Look how he gets out of his. It's just, it's effortless with number fourteen. Effortless. Fucking effortless, man. <clears throat> okay next play Josh Reynolds is right there I formation 14 comes in motion halfback toss <laughs> what a hit by number 31 that's something you see 
Justin Simmons wouldn't do. Oh, by the way, Bronco fans, where's Justin Simmons playing for right now? Oh, yeah, he's on his couch on Twitter. Watch number 31 make this play. You don't see that from Justin Simmons. And all these stupid fucking Bronco fans don't know shit. All right. Here he is right there, top of your screen. Let me reiterate, some Bronco fans, they're the Walmart General fans. Two wide receivers, one receiver, one tight end, one running back. I didn't get his get out of his break quick enough there. Reynolds didn't. Reynolds didn't get out of his break there quick enough. Cause he, he got pushed off the line there. This guy gets easily pushed around too when he's running around. All right, where are you? There you are, top of your screen. You're going to have a four wide receiver set, one tight end. There's the running back, number 26. Runs a runs an over shallow route there in the middle of the field. Overhanging route, whatever you want to call it. Also, look at these linebackers for the 49ers. They're always active, man. God, what a hit by number 56. <laughs> by Drew Greenlaw. Watch that hit. Yeah, you're not going to get that from Cody Barton and Alex Singleton. I'm sorry. That's a fucking man's hit right there. That's the type of shit I like seeing for my fucking linebackers. All right, here we go. Let's get let's get to it. Next series for the Detroit Lions. He is not in on this play. Josh Reynolds. Look at number 54, dude. God, Fred Warner, the best linebacker in the league. Fred Warner. Him and Roquan Smith are the best linebackers. Watch number 54. I, I just, I don't fucking get it. Denver, why do you not want to get players like this? I don't get it. You don't want to draft and develop a guy like that? All right, Josh Reynolds, bottom of your screen. 14 comes in motion. Get another fucking... Oh God. You know what I think is happening, too, with Reynolds? They're designing specific routes for Josh Reynolds to free up those linebackers so they can hit the underneath plays here. I think that's what's happening. They're designing specific plays, and what do I mean by that? They're de designing plays for Josh Reynolds to be a decoy for them to uh, slip Laporta underneath and get into those free zones. You see how Fred Warner goes with the linebacker there? Or... Uh, Josh Reynolds, you're going to see Fred Warner. Watch Fred Warner here. He's going to specifically go with Josh Reynolds here, and that's going to free up all that space right there for Laporta to catch it. Boom, first down. Like, they're designing it. He's basically a decoy. Again, you're going to pay a decoy two years, $14 million, when you have a guy like that and little Jordan Humphrey. It's like, use your money wisely. But the Broncos can't. They just love spending that Walmart money because spent, we have all that Walmart money that's going to win us Super Bowls. <laughs> okay. Can't buy your way to championships. All right. Bottom of your screen right here, Josh Reynolds. I formation look. 
running it. There we go. Man, this is a very fast linebacking unit for the Niners. And their safeties are proactive as well. They're always down into the box. You never saw that with Justin Simmons. And when you did, he would get torched. All right, here we go. Next play. Josh Reynolds is lined up right there. You're going to have a four wide receiver set. One tight end next to Taylor Decker. He's wide open. Throw it to him. He's not even looking his way either. Josh Reynolds is wide open. Here he is right here. He's wide open. Doesn't even look his way. Said he goes to the better receiver in Amari St. Brown, number 14. I think you said his name wrong. You don't know the game of football. I don't give a fuck about names. I give a fuck about the play on the fucking field. Okay, next play. Josh Reynolds is lined up right there. 87 comes in motion. Halfback toss there. Touchdown. They do run it on Josh Reynolds' side a lot. That's a, another good crack back block by him. Again, something little Jordan Humphrey can do. Touchdown. Again, that's the only thing I'm seeing on film. He's not making any game-changing plays when it comes to his route running ability. The only thing that he's doing good is his blocking ability, which I can respect. But again, the problem is, is you gave this guy two years $14 million for a guy that, in little Jordan Humphrey, who's not even making that much money, that you could have put insert little Jordan Humphrey where Josh Reynolds is. Like, it just... Again, money mismanagement runs supreme with the Walmart Generals. Four Niners go three and out. Next series for the Lions. Josh Reynolds is at the top of your screen. You're going to have heavy player personnel here. You're going to have 12 personnel, two wide receivers, two tight ends, one running back. Running the ball. Gets about, I would say, three to five yards on that play. I mean, look at that offensive line. God, I wish we had an offensive line like that. We used to, but the Walmart Generals went away from it. All right, here's Josh Reynolds right here. Three wide receivers. Panay Sewell is acting like a tight end. <laughs> That's awesome. Good block. Good block, Josh Reynolds. That is my favorite block from him. That right there. That's my favorite block. That's a good block. Again, something little Jordan Humphrey can do who's making a lot less money. But I got to give him credit. That's a hell of a block by Josh Reynolds. Something little Jordan Humphrey can do too as well. But I got to give him credit for that. All right, Josh Reynolds lined up at the bottom of your screen here. Again, run the football. I love that, man. I love when a team actually commits to it. They did for a half, and then they got the call from the NFL. <clears throat> All right. Oh, my bad. All right. This guy just, again, Reynolds is just an extra blocker. He doesn't make any good plays in the passing game. You're going to see right here he just gets absolutely manhandled. Can't separate. Can't separate to save his life here. <clears throat> See, again, I would have liked the Josh Reynolds signing three to five years ago. I think that would have, if you would have signed him three to five years ago, I'd have been like, okay, he's young. He's a good blocker. Maybe he can develop into something as a receiver. But again, you have a guy like that in little Jordan Humphrey. Okay, here he is right here. Josh Reynolds. Can run the football. They love running it on his side of the field. The big successful plays when it came to the running game, when it was with the Broncos, it was with little Jordan Humphrey on the field because of his blocking ability. I'm a bigger fan of little Jordan Humphrey than I am uh, Josh Reynolds, in my personal opinion. 
I just think he's younger and he can develop into a good big body possession receiver if you developed him correctly. Okay, one, two, three, four, wide receiver set. Here he is, Josh Reynolds in the slot right here. One running back, Gibbs. Comes in motion right here. Here he's wide open, running in the flats. Tries to go for the deep shot. He was wide open. That's on Jared Goff. Josh Reynolds is running free as on a shallow route in the middle of the field there. Should have should have thrown it to him. He was wide open. <clears throat> That's on Jared Goff. All right, Josh Reynolds lined up at the bottom of your screen. Two wide receivers. 14 comes in motion here. Here he is right here. A little halfback draw. Good. That's a good play call. That's a very good play call. Very good play call. All right, next play. He's not in on this play. Nope, there he is right there. My apologies. Lined up at the bottom of your screen. I formation look. <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you let a free runner come and get you. Boom, right there. Oh, my God. That was terrible blocking by that extra lineman. God. Man, offensive line play these days is really pathetic. The NFL in general as a product is just really pathetic, unfortunately. Okay, next play. Here he is right here, lined up in the slot. Four wide receiver set. 87 comes in motion. Halfback draw there. Okay, next play. There he is right here, Josh Reynolds. Again, Jared Goff isn't even looking his way either. That's a sad part. <laughs> oh man dude josh reynolds man you're just a decoy that's all you are you're just a decoy he threw tamari st brown right in there that's a hell of a throw by jared goff that is a one hell of a throw by goff again you're just a decoy you're taking all the action on your side of the field when it comes to that so it frees up amari st brown in the middle watch right there 14 boom what a laser what a throw and you know what's funny about that, too? Look at the protection on the play. Look at that protection. Steps up. No pressure up the middle. Boom. Let's watch that one more time. Because I'm going to be doing a film breakdown on Jared Stidham and Lloyd Cushenberry. Look at Frank Ragnow, the best center in the league. Just look at it right up. Boom. That's what you get, folks. That's what you get when you have a good offensive line. All right. Josh Reynolds again right there, lined up at the top of your screen next to Amari St. Brown. Two tight ends. Running backs right there. Look at that. Oh, he slipped. If he didn't slip there, he would have got more yards. Just look at that interior offensive line, man. And look at Graham Glasgow playing better. Didn't play that way in Denver. Isn't it funny, man? When these players leave Denver, they have success. Wow. Okay, here he is right here. One, two, three, four, wide receiver set. Number Josh Reynolds is right there. <laughs> there he is. He's. Oh, my God. He had him wide open in the end zone there. You also had Josh Reynolds right here running out route. Was wide open. Oh, my God. He was open. K 
Okay, next play, three wide receiver set. Josh Reynolds is right there, one tight end, one running back. He's open. Throw it, Goff. <clears throat> Again, watch that route by number 14. Watch the route by number 14 who's lined up in the slot, St. Brown. Watch that route. Boom, just an easy... He just he 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 gets out of his break so easily, man. You also had Josh Reynolds running in the flat too. Safety valve. All right, next play. Three wide receivers, bottom of your screen, one tight end, one running back. He's open. Goff, man, you had Reynolds wide open there. I just don't think he trusts Reynolds. Or he's predetermining where he's going to go with it. One of the two. Next play, Reynolds lined up at the top of your screen. Two wide receivers bottom. Reynolds comes in motion here. There, there's running. All right, next play, Josh Reynolds lined up at the bottom of your screen with a tight end, two wide receivers top, one running back. 87 comes in motion here. And field goal units out. Okay, second half now. Okay. Josh Reynolds is lined up out there. <coughs> Play action pass. Number 87, dump pass to him. Okay, next play. Josh Reynolds is lined up right here. Two wide receivers, two wide receivers here. Halfback toss. Misses his block there. Whiffs on it. Again, nothing he's doing is nothing that little Jordan Humphrey can't do. I just don't. It just this uh, film breakdowns just. It's just a guy. Three wide receivers, one tight end, one running back. Okay, here he is right here, bottom of your screen. I formation, two wide receivers, 14 comes in motion. Just run the football. Man, that offensive line's good. Okay, Josh Reynolds lined up at the top of your screen. Extra lineman, two tight ends. I formation look, run the ball again. <laughs> it's a hell of an offensive line. Okay, Josh Reynolds again, light up the top of your screen. Mario St. Brown lined up at the bottom of your screen. Play action pass. Missed his uh, tight end there. Okay, next play, Josh Reynolds lined up at the bottom of your screen. 
Jameson Williams. Okay, going to try and go to 87 there. A little dump pass. Slash out pass. Okay, next play. Three wide receivers. Josh Reynolds is lined up in the slot here. 87 comes in motion next to Panay Sewell. Again, he's just he's just a guy. He's not making any not making any spectacular plays out there. He's not jumping off the screen to me. Little Jordan Humphrey made some very good plays throughout the season. Again, I just Lil Jordan Humphrey is just more of an upcoming receiver. That's that you could have just not paid Josh Reynolds. That's all I'm saying. Okay, next play right here. Josh Reynolds lined up at the top of your screen. Two wide receivers at the bottom. One tight end, one running back. All right, let's watch that play. Number 74. That hit him right in the fucking hands, too. Steps up in the pocket. Throws. Ah, oh, he should have caught that football. He should have caught that ball. That hit him right in the fucking hands. Oh, my God, dude. That hit him right in the fucking hands, dude. That hit him right in the hands. See how he steps up and gets the rush up the middle, 74. He resets his feet there. Boom, throws a good laser, and he just drops the football there. And that was a critical down, too. Because he gets that push up the middle, but sets his feet there. Boom, boom. That should have been a catch by Josh Reynolds. He should have caught that football. So, again, it just, when it, when I look at uh, Josh Reynolds, I would have liked, I would have liked this move three to five years ago, three, three, three years ago. But again, you have an exact prototype in that in a little Jordan Humphrey. So, again, I just wanted to show you guys some things that weren't what I'm seeing that hopefully you can take and apply to yourself when you're watching these film breakdowns. Um, again, he had some good blocking moments, but other than that, you gave this guy $14 million in total just to be a blocking receiver. When you had a guy, you actually had a few, you had Tim Patrick, Lil Jordan Humphrey and Brandon Johnson that can do the same thing that uh, Josh Reynolds can do that can do. So I don't like this move. Uh, it's more of a C minus D plus move for me. Um, it's not really going to move the needle for me at all. Um, the Broncos, a.k.a. the Walmart Generals, are just making the same old mistakes that they usually do. And, uh, yeah, so this is my film breakdown on Josh Reynolds. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, until next time.